Every year, we tear down as many devices as we can just to see how repairable they are. And we score those devices on a repairability scale from one to 10, 10 being the easiest to repair. And this year, we tore down more devices than ever. And what we saw was both amazing and a little disappointing, which is why today we're gonna talk about the best and worst devices we tore down in 2019. Is the Fairphone 3 from Tennessee? Cause it's the only 10 we see from 2019. The previous models set the bar high last year when it earned a 10 out of 10, and we had no doubts the new Fairphone would do just as well. So what made this phone so repairable? Well, key components like the battery and the screen are easy to access, and you only need a regular Phillips screwdriver to remove them. They even included visual cues inside the phone to help with this assembly. To top it all off, if you ever need spare parts or replacement guides, they're readily available on the Fairphone website. Fairphone 3 takes the cake for repairability, which is why it earned a 10 out of 10. But what do you think about the most repairable phone in the world? The Mac Pro blessed us with its arrival just before the holidays, and thank goodness because I wanted one as a gift, but I didn't get one. Little did we know, we would be giving this device a gift of a lifetime by scoring it a 9 out of 10. The Mac Pro probably would have gotten a 10 if it had grated cheese a little better. Some things that helped it earn a 9, the opening procedure couldn't be any easier. All you needed to do was turn and lift. That was easy. When it comes to repairs and upgrades, a lot of them can be done with standard tools. Some can even be done without tools, like swapping out the RAM, which is a must for a long lifespan. We also noticed that Apple provided some step numbers and diagrams right on the Mac Pro. They even went and published some free repair manuals for some repairs so you can get them right. Way to end the year strong, Apple. When Xbox announced that it was releasing the Xbox One S Digital Edition, we had to see what a non-optical drive gaming system would bring to the table. This all-digital version earned an 8 out of 10 on our repairability meter, and rightfully so. Clips were all that were in the way between the lower case and the body. The clips do need a little brute force to get off, but it's still better than glue or screws. Once you're inside, the design is modular and allows for basically all the components to be replaceable. And the best thing is that it only took a few tools to disassemble this entire device, and we like simplicity. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the devices that are on our not-so-good list. The first one is the foldable Galaxy Fold. Review units had noticeably weird bumps in the display, a removable display covering that you weren't supposed to take off, along with other random failures. Samsung saw these reviews and pulled the device before it was released to the public. And when it was finally released, Samsung promised that they had fixed all the issues, but the Galaxy Fold still had problems that would complicate repair. As an example, if you want to get into this device, you need to remove the glass rear panel, which means greater risk of breaking the phone just to get in. The mechanics of the fold can wear over time and cause stress on the hinges and the display, which can make display replacements a bear. And as with most phones, you can always see glued in batteries and the fold is no exception to that. So this phone is just a pain in the butt all around and we hope you didn't buy this $2,000 taco. Apple released their 16-inch MacBook Pro in mid-November of 2019. And this time, it came with a butterfly-less keyboard, so we were hopeful that Apple was finally thinking about repairability. And while it was easy to open up, the rest of the device is a nightmare to disassemble. Glue or rivets secure the keyboard, touch bar, speakers, and battery, making them almost impossible to repair. And the processor, RAM, and flash memory are all soldered to the logic board. While we did see some minor modular components like the Thunderbolt ports, all of these negatives are what made us bring the score down to a 1 out of 10 on our repairability scale. And if you thought things couldn't get any worse, man do we have news for you. The AirPods Pro arrived in 2019 with a new form factor that we were hoping would have a new and improved way of being repaired. While opening them was easier, and they had new coin cell batteries that you can theoretically replace, the AirPods Pro are still pretty much impossible to repair. Everything, and we mean everything, is glued in these little buggers. Can't get past anything without having to pull out some form of glue. How anyone could ever reassemble AirPods Pro is beyond me. We think it's safe to say that these were not designed with repair in mind. No surprise here, the AirPods Pro scored a 0 out of 10. While the next device wasn't one to score the highest or the lowest, we think it deserves a mention for most improved. The Microsoft Surface Laptop went from scoring a 0 out of 10 to scoring a decent 5 out of 10. The opening procedure was no longer destructive thanks to screws and magnets. The SSD is easy to access and now upgradable. And while the inside has an intricate layered construction, parts are still modular and replaceable. And what's the best thing about all this? Microsoft was able to make a non-repairable laptop repairable, all while keeping the same form factor. This is truly a great step forward in the right direction. We're excited for what 2020 has to offer and we hope that more devices will score even better this year. If you wanna see all the teardowns that we've done, head over to ifixit.com teardown and be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. Happy fixing.